Hi, my name is Nicole Frolic of Inflexible Me, and today we're going to be talking about the Lionsgate portal that is amongst us right now, as well as the pineal gland and how the pineal gland works within group meditation and how we can use this powerful effect in conjunction with the lion's portal going on right now. So first let's talk about the pineal gland. What is it? It's an organ that sits within our brain right in the center and it's also known as our third eye. It's called the seat of the soul, uh, but it's an organ that is highly responsible for some really important um, uh, functions within our body. Uh, one of the mo more important functions that we know about scientifically is that the pineal gland is responsible for releasing melatonin when we sleep. Uh, so if you are having some poor sleeping patterns or not getting deep sleeps, it's possibly due to a lower release of this melatonin. Now, what it's also responsible for is the release of DMT in that which causes our um, really lucid dreaming. Uh, so when we have this DMT release from our pineal gland, that's when we have those really strong visions and dreams that are really lucid that it feels like it's actually happening. So these are really important effects of the pineal gland. Now, the pineal gland is also our gateway into the spiritual realms. It is known as our communication device as well as our awareness device. The more you meditate, the more activated your pineal gland becomes and the more in sync and in tune with the higher divine realms you become. So this pineal gland is a really important organ for us to learn about and understand its function and how we can use it to uh, enhance our collective consciousness. So the pineal gland, if we think about it as a communication device, it's it's like a transmitter. So it sends out um, radiate, shortwave radiation uh, signals. And that is kind of like, um, let's think of it as a Wi-Fi signal. So we're sending out a signal to our computer to keep us connected, right? So when we are transmitting from our pineal gland, we're connecting to a bigger database and we're able to receive the information back and forth. Uh, so when we think about it like the internet, if we want our computer to constantly stay connected to the internet and always have this invaluable uh, connection to all this information that we can learn about or stay connected with other people across the world, well, this is the same effect that the pineal gland has on a universal level. So this is very important to understand when we're learning how to connect with the higher realms. But what's really important to understand as well is how this affects group meditation, enhancing collective consciousness in a very positive way. It's known scientifically that when there are more pineal glands in close proximity to one another, uh, such as say a group meditation of three people or more, the pineal glands become enhanced. So they have this metaphysical power that becomes enhanced by being in close proximity to other pineal glands. So the radiation, the shortwave radiations that are being sent off, which by the way are not harmful to any humans or animals or anything like that, they, um, they connect and become higher. So it's almost like group meditation becomes like a Wi-Fi booster for collective consciousness. And what happens when you have a Wi-Fi booster for your Wi-Fi connection? You get a broader range of connectivity of where you can actually be connected, as well as you get faster connection. So this makes a lot of sense because I hold group meditations uh, and I teach a very visual technique called free flow imagination. And I've noticed that when people come for the first time, and this is their very first time meditating, that they have the most incredible visions. And I believe that this explains why, because their pineal gland is now connecting with other pineal glands and the, the metaphysical power of those pineal glands is enhanced, allowing them to have these deeper visions, allowing them to be more connected. So what it does is it casts a broader net for us to connect to those higher realms, which I think is really, really cool. Now, how do we use this group 
meditation effect of the pineal gland transmission to our benefit through this Lionsgate portal. So for those of you who don't know what the Lionsgate portal is, it's um, an event that happens every year. It's an, astro an astrological event where our sun lines up with the Sirius star and Earth. And this happens uh, for the, but the last week of July up until August 12th of this year. And the peak date is August 8th. Now, what this means is that um, Sirius is known as the spiritual sun and is known to hold very divine wisdom and knowledge. And so when we have our earth aligned with the sun and the star, what happens is the earth is now bathed in all of the light from our two brightest stars in the sky, which is um, pretty amazing. Now, um, the, this particular lion's gate is also really important because it's being known as the triple eight portal. It's the 888. So August is the eighth month. The peak is on the eighth day. And if you add up the entire date, August 8th of 2017, it also ends in an eight, which for numerology um, aspects, it's known as um, it's, eight is a very spiritual number. It's also known as the um, number of karma, which is the law of cause and effect. So I don't know about any of you, but during this period of time, I've noticed that my energy has been really up and down. Um, this period of time, you tend to go through bouts of moving from very egotistical ways into more uh, loving, unconditional ways. And so it's all about balance, this lion's gate. And the way we um, can use this to our benefit is that because the energies are so intense and so high right now, there the purpose of this lion's gate is to cleanse and clear so it's about letting go of all that doesn't serve us anymore so that we create the space to allow the abundance that to come in so the um, lion's gate is known also as a royalty um, because of the lion and the reason it's called the lion's gate is because it falls in the sign of leo and so when we have a group meditation we can collectively meditate together on a uh, positive outcome for human consciousness, for the planet. And that, that um, outcome will likely be manifested much more quickly uh, and more effectively because of this idea of pineal activation being enhanced through multiple pineals being in close proximity. So during this Lion's Gate portal, if you got any friends uh, or uh, people that you meditate with, a uh, family, uh, anywhere, uh, this is a really great time to all to get together and focus on a really positive intention and outcome for this planet, for the human collective. Uh, and uh, as we know, the, there's a lot of chaos going on right now. So meditating on things like um, peace, uh, joy, uh, anything that's going to create abundance on a whole is one of the uh, most ideal things that we can collectively meditate on together during this time. So collectively let go of all those things that don't serve us. So letting go of our fears, letting go of the judgments, creating the space so that these more powerful energies can come in and, and assist us in creating this idea of joy and peace and love and harmony and unity. Uh, because this Lion's Gate portal is all about balance and because we're in such chaos right now, uh, this is a great time to be meditating on creating that balance of uh, differing viewpoints, perspectives, uh, and, and bring into more harmony. So this is, uh, what I'd like to share with you today about the pineal gland, since there isn't that much information out there known to us and how important it is um, to have these group meditations and using our pineal to uh, our highest good. So thanks for joining me today. Have a great day and I wish you all the success and abundance during this Lionsgate portal, as well as in your meditation practice. If you do do those group meditations, uh, know that you guys are sending out um, almost like a Wi-Fi booster. You're boosting your transmission out to the human collective. So really use it to your advantage and use it for the greatest good. 
If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to my channel so that you can be updated on any more information that's coming out, as well as uh, sign up for my newsletter, which is on my website, inflexibleme.com, as I release um, a newsletter every time I've released a new blog or vlog or any updates that are coming out. And if you'd like more information on a spiritual level, I also have a podcast called Enlighten Up available in iTunes and uh, you can subscribe below. I'll have a link in the notes below for that uh, if you'd like to listen in and see what we're talking about. So have a great day and we'll be in tune soon.